Metro police say they learned she was a sex worker who thought she was meeting a client, also known as a trick. But the man she was actually meeting... Manji versus Bonji, the two bigs. ...was Chance Comanche, NBA G League player for the Stockton Kings who was in town for a game at the Dollar Loan Center in Henderson. Police say Comanche and a woman he claims he previously dated, 19-year-old Sakari Harndon, also a sex worker, had been plotting Roger's murder since at least December 1st. So this, so she supposed to be the female, the little female who told on EBK little play. And that's why this whole little play was set in motion. You know what I'm saying? Ain't that crazy? Detectives uncovering numerous text messages on the Telegram app about the plot, including while Comanche was on the court. And a few days later, Comanche, I can snap her neck. If you get a nice little thick piece of rope, I can do it from the back seat like how killers do it in the movies. And that's just what Comanche said he did when detectives say he confessed after his arrest in Sacramento. Like killers do it in the movies. What will possess this motherfucker to do that? You playing basketball in the NBA. California. Comanche telling them Rogers thought she was selling sex on a double date with Harndon, but the pair drove to this Henderson cul-de-sac and strangled and choked her and then dumped her body nearby. The Clark County coroner confirming the remains were hers. Page 18, Comanche. Comanche and Harndon both face murder and kidnapping charges. It remains unclear why Comanche may have become involved in the alleged murder plot since he claims his co-defendant was someone he used to date. But it appears they're not the only ones who knew about the plan. A third person was added to their chat who expressed he tried to get a ghost gun. And earlier, Comanche refers to communicating about the plan with others. Here, it's green. As for a motive, police say Harndon was upset. Rogers told people she snitched on a boyfriend. He's identified as this man, who's accused of a double murder in Stockton. Police say he has gang ties. As a rapper, he goes by the name EBK Lil Play. While he's in jail, his Instagram account remains active. After we reported on the possible connection to the murder case in Las Vegas, quote, keep me out of all the shenanigans. So Keep me out of all the skin again. She understand me. You hear him? It's crazy, right? Cause though we could argue that he 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 got some mental issues, you know what I'm saying? Right? Cause for y'all to be texting back and forth like these people can't get a hold of y'all police, I mean the the y'all phone records, you crazy. You know what I'm saying? And you can't be the sharpest knife in this motherfucking drawer for you to be doing some crazy shit like this, man. I don't understand. Then she she that offended by a motherfucker talking about you told. If you told, you told. Fuck you doing? You gonna go kill a motherfucker? But the thing is, that's that's it be it be you know it's a lot of fucking weird shit that goes along with this shit. I ain't gonna lie. You got little mama. She she selling her body, right? She prostituting in this, that, and the third. And it's a lot of little females that's running around here doing it, thinking it ain't no repercussions for it. But you don't know who the fuck you going to meet up with. In her case, she did, right? But she didn't know what they motives was. She didn't know what they was planning to do to her. So just imagine, man, this shit just be wild. Like these little females, bro. That shit. I don't know, you know, it's crazy because they both look like they was on demon time, right? Or possessed or some shit like that. For her to, I don't know what she told nigga, her boyfriend, for to get him to comply with this shit, but it's crazy, nigga. Ain't no fucking way, nigga. I'm about to throw away my opportunity in the NBA. And you could have found 10 more Shikaris. She obviously ain't got it all, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. For to you to do some shit like that, bro, that's crazy. Now, rest in peace to her, man. Condolences to her family. I see a lot of her friends and shit is is grieving, mourning. You know what I'm saying? And it's bro, it's it's a tragedy, nigga. Whole time my young niggas say, leave me out of the shenanigans. I, 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 you feel me? It's crazy, right? Cause if she told already, I wonder. It's like <laughs> you know what I'm saying, right? Did she tell or was she? Was she supposed to be still testifying is what I'm wondering, right? Because I'm wondering where this going to leave Lil Play now. Is he, because she obviously has something to do with the uh, with the case, right? Do that make her, her, her shit non-valid? Because she didn't told, but now she a murder suspect and all this other. I don't know, bro. But I do know, you know, you females who out there selling y'all body or doing whatever y'all doing. And just, you, you know, it's a lot of motherfuckers who in the streets... But really don't understand the streets. 
and it, they be acting like it's rules and like it's cool. It ain't cool. I ain't gonna lie to you. It ain't no rules in the streets and it ain't cool. And guess what? You, you don't know. It, when you're doing these dates and shit like that, right? And you escort. This is why the game is set up the way it's set up, right? For a motherfucker to have supervision, somebody to watch your back, this, that, and the third. a lot of females out there renegade and just thinking they running their own enterprise and like it's just good. Like they in a, like they running a motherfucking McDonald's. You know what I'm saying? You ain't running no McDonald's with your coochie, man. And it's dangerous. Long story short, but y'all niggas let me know what y'all think.